Hi guys, it's Cryptic Cinematics, and today we'll be making uh, some pretty nice flare effects, and uh, I'll give, be giving you some ideas to add to your logos, YouTube backgrounds, anything like that. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up Adobe Photoshop CS5, whatever version you want to use. Uh, click New, make the radius 1000 by 1000. Press Enter, Control I, double click the background layer, call it BG in capitals for the background. Make a new layer, and um, you want to get your brush tool, you want to select a size, uh, let's say 300 brush for now, call it X, click in the center, control A, V, center it horizontally and vertically, uh, control J, control T, control Alt and resize it, click it again, control T, control, shift and Alt, sorry not control and Alt, shift and Alt, size it down, I'll do and you now want to um uh oh yeah get your brush tool again select a size 500 brush at least okay making you load before you do this uh, yeah and then you want to control and t do the same shift and alt you want to size it down like that press enter and you want to control and T, control and alt, and you want to resize it at least the whole of the page, kind of like that. I think. Wait, now it looks fine. And you want to control and J again, and you want to shift this one down just a touch, control and T, shift and alt kind of size it down like that, it's quite nice, you might want to uh, merge all these, shift and click the bottom layer, control and E, and you want to go image, adjustments, hue and saturation, by the way when you're using this with a um, anything, if it's with the black background, make it add and it will get rid of the black background and you show the flare, it's pretty good, or screen, whatever, so yeah, maybe merge all these, I'm going to just put it in one of my logos. Let's my, see my clean logo. Just gonna quickly find it. Here it is. Uh, control V to paste it. Where well, is that jungle background? Uh, yeah. Control A, Control C, paste it in there. Just gonna size it down quickly. Zoom in. I wanna. Put it in the corner here. Put it above the text, by the way. Make it linear dodge add. There you go. There you have your flare. It looks just as nice as any other video copilot flare. You might want to give it hue and saturation, so you can do that now. 205 depends what uh, what uh, the background color is and everything. Uh, go image adjustments, brightness and contrast. You might want to leave this out use it so yeah there you have your flare say so make a flare you might want to give it like a little bit of an iris kind of like that I want to make it overlay rasterize the, uh, the layer put, kind of put that there Do it one more time, make it a tiny one. Oops. About that big. And you might want to duplicate the flare and put it like, like resize it a little. Or like, sh whoops. Like squash it down a little, like that. Enter. And you might want to 
schon wieder einen neuen Chief, ne? Und squash it down a little bit like that as well. Put that on the side. That one I give it cure and saturation of a kind of like a almost like red ish. And yeah, there you have your flare, you might wanna uh merge all these make make sure they're all you dodge by the way. Actually, no, it doesn't look very good. Um Yeah, there you have your flares. So you can do any, once you know how to make this, you can do anything really. So you don't have to go filter, render, lens flare. You can um, make your own, you know? And it look kind of better. So I'm not copying this other guy called Stratsy, by the way. This is just my, I, I just got this idea and I thought, kind of show you what I can do with it as well. And yeah, so you make um, a flirt, so remember to thumbs up, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.